What's up guys? Welcome to Colton Photography Reviews. I'm Sean Colton. Today we're going to be talking about some new parts that Small Rig sent me, including their new small NATO handle, part number 1955, and an update to a part we reviewed a little while back, their Arca Swiss base plate, part number 1817, that makes this part now a must buy for anyone that uses Arca Swiss. <laughs> Small Rig was nice enough to send me some new parts just recently that I've had the honor of trying out. Most importantly of which is their new Small Rig NATO handle. This is for smaller cameras. Now I do want to clarify that Small Rig is sending me these parts for free for me to review. However, I'm under no obligation to give them a positive review. One of the big advantages I've found with this new handle is the double cold shoe mounts on the one end plus the single on the other. This gives me three different mounting locations for mounting my external monitor setup. Having the double on the back, I really like to put it on the back of the camera. It's really nice so that I can move my monitor where I need it, whether that's me being behind and below the camera or with the camera kind of more down in front of me and tilting the monitor back, or then again on the front where I usually have the monitor aiming up at me. Truthfully, for my own use, since I'm using this handle with a much larger rig, I've actually not been using the base that comes with this handle. I've been actually using one from my larger handle, just so it gives me a couple options that I personally need. But this handle is a really great piece for anyone that has a little camera rig and wants some mounting options. One of the big advantages of this handle over a lot of the other ones that they stock is the addition of the Allen key integrated right into the handle itself. Having this standard Allen, which I believe if I'm not mistaken is a five millimeter Allen, this is what most of the rig uses. Having it right there on the rig whenever you need it, super useful. One of the disadvantages I ran into when I got this handle first from Small Rig was the clamp for the NATO rail didn't actually quite close tight enough for some of Small Rig's older NATO rails, which apparently, I was informed by them, were actually slightly undersized to the NATO standard. Therefore, it wasn't clamping down and locking onto their old NATO rails. They did, however, send me an updated clamp during the time of this review that addresses this problem after I reported it to them. And this, they told me, is what now is shipping with the handle. So if you guys previously bought this handle already and it's not clamping down on your old small raid NATO rails, just shoot them an email and they can send you this replacement part. The links for this new handle are in the video description and you can go straight over to their website either at coollcd.com or smallrig.com and pick up this great handle for your camera rig. Now I also want to address an update that Small Rig did to a part that we reviewed a couple months back. That's the 1817 Arca Swiss Quick Release Base Plate. We didn't recommend this base plate at the time due to a few issues that we felt were real hindrances to using the plate in production. The first issue that we ran into was the fact that the plate was not retained in the over center position. You could pull the plate out. Also, we ran into the issue that at that over center position, the middle position of the lever, the lever didn't stay in that position easily. It would easily knock towards a locked position or a completely unlocked position. Small rate have improved this by increasing the spring force in the plate. The final issue we ran into in use of this plate in production was that the lever clamping force wasn't quite high enough to prevent accidentally snagging the lever and releasing the plate. This they've fixed with now the ability to adjust that clamping force to the force that you desire using just a little Allen key. This allows you to adjust the clamping force for use with other Arca Swiss plates that might be a little bit wider or a little bit narrower and make sure that the clamp force is adequate for you and your rig. These changes to the 1817 plate make it now a must buy, in our opinion, for anyone that uses Arca Swiss.